even though we train for this, like I say, we train for it uh, regularly, we have drills every week, um, I never ever thought this would happen. Um, and it's ironic that um, just as we were leaving the platform, like I say, we have to, um, we have to turn the TBO, the total blackout key, and one of my colleagues was with me, and that was the exact words he said to me. He says that, um, he says, I bet you thought you'd never have to do this in, in your life. And, and I said, no, I didn't. Um, and at that point, we, we turned to Kiev and, and, and both left for the helicopter. Um, but no, I, I, although we train for it and we train well, we train for it. Um, we always hope that we've never got to do it. Um, and um, fortunately, in this case, the, the, the training was, was most useful. The first time, um, from when the first when the first alarm um, was sounded from the incident starting, we had um, within one hour we had the helicopter on scene, and within one hour after that we had 107 people evacuated, and an hour after that we had the full 230 people evacuated or 220, I beg your pardon. Um, we deliberately kept 19 people on board the platform. Um, to evaluate the situation, um, to see if there's anything that we could do, and really to, to maintain the systems up and running. Um, so long as the platform was still live and we had power, we could maintain, we could, um, we could monitor the firing gas um, status on the platform. We knew that once we turned the key to switch everything off, all that was lost. Um, and that information was um, invaluable in trying to determine what the, the cause of the incident was. The hardest decision was um, when we had 19 people on board, we had to make a call whether we had to go or where we had to stay. Um, and making that decision was definitely the hardest. Once the decision was, when was made, it was quite easy. Um, once it was made, we knew exactly what we were going to do. But um, making that call whether to stay or whether to go, um, it certainly was a tough, tough decision. Once we'd properly evaluated the situation, is there anything we could do to, um, to, to improve the situation? That became clear quite early that wasn't going to happen. Um, so what we were doing is we were maintaining life support system, maintaining fire and gas, and when the systems are all up and running, the communication goes back to the beach. So the people on shore could see that communication, they could see the pressures, the temperatures, what was happening with the well. Um, and that gave them good information to try and evaluate what the, the, the cause of the incident was. Um, so that was really the, the main reasons why we, why we stayed on board. Um, while that, um, if we had any escalation at all on the platform, we were confident, absolutely confident, that we could have been off the platform in five minutes by lifeboat. Uh, one of the things that the 19 of us did, we all practiced our lifeboat drill, um, we checked the lifeboat, we strapped ourselves into it and, and just got familiar with the harnesses. And um, if uh, the system, if the, the well, the incident escalated and we couldn't get a helicopter in, we were confident that we could get off in the lifeboat within five minutes quite easily. The weather was fine, the weather was good, the sea state was calm. Um, so it really didn't, um, it didn't uh, impose any additional risk, or additional risk, but should I say it wasn't an unacceptable risk to go by boat. I think it's demonstrated, the, the whole thing has demonstrated that our procedures are good, our process is good, and um, although we never want these things to happen, when it does happen, this clearly demonstrates that you know, the, the, the safety of the people is, is our paramount priority.